dry eyes is a really common condition affecting about one in three Canadians. Typical symptoms a patient may come in and talk to me about is that they're having burning in their eyes, um, a sand, gritty like feeling, um, their eyes might be getting red throughout the day, uh, they might be light sensitive, um, sometimes they might say that when they go outside, especially in these winter months, that their eyes are becoming watery. And that's just because the term film, which is the front layer of the eye, which is made up of different fats, mucus, and water, is just off balance. Um, if dry eyes have been, you know, kind of a common symptom in a patient's life for a longer period of time, um, they might be saying that their vision is actually blurry. So when they're wearing their glasses or their contacts, they're not able to see as well. Um, and they might even say, you know, hey, Dr. Grewell, I used to be able to wear the contacts you gave me for 8 to 12 hours a day, but now I'm only able to wear them for half the day just because my eyes are feeling sore um, and burning and also gritty. Um, so it's really our job as optometrists is to have a look at the symptoms that patients are coming in and talking to us about and coming and figuring out what the cause may be. Now the causes for dry eyes, um, there's quite a few of them and one of the big ones is environment. So you know being a working adult or a student we're spending a lot more time on our screens and obviously we're blinking less on the screen um, which is causing some of these dry eye symptoms. Another thing we have to look at is medications that patients may be taking um, and different systemic conditions that they may have. Um, so it's usually by looking at all the symptoms and taking a look at all the causes as well for dry eyes we can come up with a really detailed treatment plan that's individual for each patient. Treatment for dry eyes um, can vary. Um, for more simpler forms of dry eyes, we can just give artificial tears and lubricants. Um, we can give patients um, sort of heat compresses to apply to the outside of their eye and doing massage every day. Sometimes we might make some dietary modifications for the patient, for instance, adding um, omega-3s, um, more fatty acids in their diet. Um, and then for more moderate to severe types of dry eyes, we have to kind of initiate a long-term treatment. So giving anti-inflammatory drops for a longer period of time, punctal occlusion, um, and even fitting a type of contact lens called a scleral lens um, for a longer period of time.